Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. guys we are putting her in gear right now and let's get out of here we got some very interesting places to go through today and that is uh, we gotta go through Oklahoma City we're gonna go through Dallas Texas at least that's the plan And then we'll be heading towards Houston. We won't quite go to Houston, but we will be very close. Not too far. That's where Huntsville, uh, Texas is. Yep. So let's get out of here and get on the big road. Here we go, guys. We are in Oklahoma City. Yes, sir. That is for sure. We stopped at the uh, Fly and J here a minute ago and uh, fueled up. Now we got our go go juice. Now we're good to go. And we're going to take this 35 south to in Dallas. Mile, to the left on I 35 south, US 62 west. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. It's always gorgeous coming through here. Look at them high-rise buildings up there in the distance, you know. But we got to move on. We don't want to go that way. We got to go south on 35. Yeah, here we are in Oklahoma on I-35. We got something going on up here. I heard the other day already a friend of mine, uh, our another driver of us, he came through here and he said that uh, apparently they had some kind of rock slide or something up here so they got the highway shut down there on the northbound lane so they had to rebuild uh, this whole section right here so that the traffic could actually come to this side here and yeah it looks like right there yeah right there they had a mud slide or something up there that's for sure that's probably why they closed their down Probably too much rain or something. That well, looks like another uh, rock slide right there. Yeah, let's have a look at it, see if we can see it. But apparently they had some bad rock slide up here. And closed down the whole lanes there. Yeah, looks like right there. It looks like fresh rock come down over there. Huh. All right. Well, they even got cameras up there and everything. Shut it down. Oh well, that happens every once in a while, I guess. Still got to get through this area and get down the road, right? But it is kind of weird, Rockies up here, anyways. It's I don't know. It, it looks different, anyways. Alrighty, guys, we are coming through Dallas right now, and look at these big overpasses up here. Oh yeah, I love it. Like four or five different overpasses coming over here. And oh yeah, we should be getting through uh, Dallas here pretty soon. And, and we will be going 45 southbound towards uh, Houston. And we just got ourselves a reload already. Picking up there a Monday evening somewhere. At least that's the plan and take it back to Winnipeg. We'll see how that goes. So anyways, we'll be right back guys. Hey guys, have a look at this. We are starting to get some rain here right now, but uh, we are going through Dallas. Oh yeah, look at them high-rise buildings here to the left. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, we're going to have to turn the camera on. You're not going to be able to see anything. Alrighty guys, we just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop up here. 
a small truck stop up here but hey they got subway restaurant in here so we had ourselves a little bit of a subway sandwich now it's time to get out of here yeah so let's get out of here and get back on the big road and get to our delivery place close to it anyways we got about uh, 120 miles to go 129 miles to go now uh, we'll be at the delivery place but right there there is a pilot truck stop right at the same exit that I got to go deliver so so we'll uh, we'll probably see if we can find parking in there and then uh, yeah stay in there for tonight. But I have to take my half an hour mandatory break here, so otherwise I would have just continued on driving the other 130 miles. Take a half mile. Take the entrance to the left on I-45 South. Oh well, we got to take that half an hour break, so. Anyways, let's get down the road and get over to the other truck stop. Here we go guys, we are pulling into the Pilot Travel Center as the GPS just indicated. And it looks like there's a few parking spots open over there in the back right now. That's the way it looks like. That's good. That's the way we need to have parking. So, we'll squeeze her in there in the spots and call it a day we are done for today yeah oh yeah we are done for today looks like just perfectly enough spot for me and this guy that's pulling in right here see if anybody's pulling here yeah there's a little truck in there well, we can't pull in there. Four wheeler in here. Well, I guess we could go in between there. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah. We need to go out there. Heavy truck and tire repair. Got a shop up here. That's good. So we shall park her in here, and then uh, we are only a. Uh, I don't know. Let me see here. I think we are only uh, like a mile or so down the road from from where our delivery place is at. Proceed to the highlighted route. Yeah, it says two point uh, seven miles. I don't even know. I don't even think it is that far, but to be honest with you, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. There we go. Alrighty, ice. We are finished for today. We are at a uh, pilot truck stop here in uh, Huntsville, Texas. Basically two miles from where our delivery place is for tomorrow morning. And I already added up uh, one video in there on the computer and uploaded it into YouTube. And I got me this, uh, let me see if I can pull this out of here. Of course, no, you're not gonna come out, right? All right, there we go. Yeah, me this uh, Sprint Wi-Fi hotspot system here with a router, right like that. I got it sitting up here just for the evening when I'm uh, uploading YouTube videos and stuff like that. I actually don't have a bad plan for that system, and I travel a lot in the United States, so. Whenever, whenever I'm in the States, I can use it and uh, 
as long as I'm under LTE service I get 60 gigabyte that I can use and if I'm under 3G I can upload uh, 30 gigabytes so uh, hey I think that's not a bad package upload these video for you videos for you guys like especially the other uh, couple of weeks ago there I was on the road for almost two weeks and uh, I was in the States there a couple of times though and uh, that would have helped me out tremendously to uh, to upload the videos and I had to use my phone and uh, my phone bill was ridiculously expensive there last month so I figured I would get me something different to uh, to upload with uh, my videos you know for you guys and uh, so we got it we uh, ordered this system and uh, seems to work pretty good actually is uh, even way faster than my home internet is so the download speed is not really faster than my home internet it, I've tested it several times and I'm usually only getting about maximum 10 to 12 MB per second download speeds but upload seems to be almost the same speed most of the time so upload is actually very fast uh, at home I, <laughs> I only get 2.7 MB per second upload so this is actually pretty good if I get 10 MB per second upload speed that is actually pretty fast for upload so so that doesn't take me very long to upload a video so that's actually awesome but you can upload all the videos I guess on the road but anyways just had to close out the show for today and uh, so we will go deliver our loader tomorrow first thing in the morning and then we'll be going uh, south east of Houston well, we can't really go much further south on Houston but from right here we're going to go southeast and we're going to go take a back road towards uh, our reload location there and uh, we'll go pick up our load there tomorrow hopefully it's only about two and a half hours drive from here so uh, should be no problem I think it says uh, we're supposed to pick up there by four in the afternoon tomorrow evening so hopefully we can do that so well that's about it thank you guys for uh, watching my vlog today we certainly hope it was enjoyable I always hope it is but I know some of them are a little more boring than other ones are and you know that's just the way it goes some days you have a good day and some days it's not such a good day but anyways that's about it so have yourself a good day and today is actually Father's Day so I want to say happy Father's Day to every single dad out there because you are very important especially to your children they need you very much I know my kids do need me so so I know this is going to be a week behind but hey at least we are getting it out there so anyways have a good one we'll catch you on the next one be sure to hit that subscribe button like and share and we will see you on the next one bye it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come